part 17 basic arithmetic operations on rational number addition so we are having the four basic arithmetic operation they are addition subtraction multiplication and division very first we are going to see here addition so in case one adding number that have same denominators if i want to add the two rational numbers which are having the same denominator it is very easy we have to add only the numerators for example if i want to add 5 by 4 and 11 by 4 so these two rational numbers are having the same denominator that means we can add the numerators what is the numerator we are having we are having the numerator as 5 and 11 so we have to add the numerator 5 plus 11 whole divided by 4 so 5 plus 11 just 16 16 divided by 4 so now we can simplify this one 1 fours are 4 4 fours are 16 so so if i add 5 by 4 and 11 by 4 the answer is a 4 next one is an case 2 adding number that have different denominators that is if i want to add the two rational numbers that having the different denominators so what how can we add first we have to find the lcm for the denominators after finding the lcm we have to uh, find the equivalent fraction equivalent rational numbers for the given rational number that means we have to make the denominator e well the two rational numbers should have the same denominators after that we have to add the two rational numbers for example add 5 by 4 and 4 by 6 so these two rational numbers are having the different denominators very first we have to find the lcm for 4 and 6 so the lcm for 4 and 6 first we have to find the common factor for 4 and 6 the common factor for 4 and 6 is 2 2 twos are 4 3 twos are 6 then there is no common factor for 2 and 3 so that first i took 2 1 twos are 2 i have to write the 3 as it is then we have to find the factor for 3 the factor for 3 is 3 itself so 1 3 is a 3 now we can multiply all the factors 2 into 2 4 4 into 3 12 so the lcm for 4 and 6 is 12 so first i took the rational number 5 by 4 i have to find the equivalent fraction for 5 by 4 by making the denominator 12 so i have to multiply numerator and denominator by 3 5 into 3 whole divided by 4 into 3 which is equal to 15 by 12 so the next rational number is at 4 by 6 again i have to make the denominator equivalent to 12 so that i am going to multiply numerator and denominator by 2 4 into 2 whole divided by 6 into 2 4 twos are 8 6 twos are 12 so the equivalent fraction for 4 by 6 is 8 by 12 now we can add the two rational number because the two rational numbers are having the same denominator if the rational numbers having the same denominator we can add the numerator so what is the numerator we are having the numerator is an 15 and 8 so we have to add 15 plus 8 15 plus 8 is an 23 by 12 so when number we add 5 by 4 and 4 by 6 the answer is an 23 by 12 next one is an additive inverse so for example if i want to write the additive inverse for the given rational numbers how can we write just write the given rational number as it is with the opposite sign for example if we take the general term a as a rational numbers then the additive inverse is a minus sign so because a is a positive in rational numbers that means we have to write with the opposite sign so for the positive opposite is a negative so the answer that is to inverse is at minus a so whenever we add the rational numbers plus additive rational numbers always we get the answer as a zero for example if i want to find the additive inverse for 2 by 3 here 2 by 3 is a positive rational numbers for that the additive inverse is a negative rational number that is minus 2 by 3 
so next one is an if i want to find the uh, additive inverse for minus 7 by 5 here minus 7 by 5 is a negative rational numbers for the negative rational numbers the additive inverse is a positive rational number that is 7 by 5